Hmm. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing we're doing iPad Pro design. Then how beast your curves work. The last challenge is to reduce the animation timing, function party, and the few keywords that change the speed of an animation over its location. CSS offers an option other than keywords that provide even finer control over how the animation plays out through the of busier curve. In CSS animations, busier curves are used with the cubic busier busier how do I pronounce this? What? This. B-E-B-I-E-R. function. The shape of the curve represents how the animation animation plays out the curve lives on a one by one coordinate system the x axis of the coordination coordinate system is the duration of the animation think of it as a time scale and the y axis is the change in the animation the cubic PCR function consists of four main points that sit on this one by one grid P0, P1, P2, and P3. P0 and P3 are set for you. They are the beginning and end points, which are always located respectively at the origin. I mean, origin. Zero semicolon zero and one semicolon one. You set the x and y values for the other two points, and where you place them in the grid dic dictates the shape of the curve. Of for the animation to follow, this is done in CSS by declaring the x axis I mean the x and y values of the P1 and P2 anchor points in the in the form X1 not Y1 and X2 and Y2 pulling it all together is an example of a uh, of a busier curve in CSS code. In the example above, the x, the x and y values are current for the each point. Which, if you want, if you remember from core memory class results, in a line that extends, I mean extends from the origin to point one to point one semicolon one this animation is a key i mean it's a linear change of an element during the the length of an animation and it's the same as using the linear keywords in other words it changes at a constant speed for the element with the ID of ball one, change the body of the animation timing function property from linear to its equivalent. Cubic Bezier function value use the point values given in the example above.
So, I'm just going to watch a video. Hmm. See what happens? Hmm. It's already... It has already been five minutes. And that's a little bit quick. So... Should we put it? So we're going to draw one and then put animation, animation, animation timing function and then we're gonna go to cubic Cubic B here. B here. Function. 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 So first we're gonna put cubic bezier. Then we're gonna put twenty-five, then put twenty-five, two, I mean twenty-five. And then put 75. And then we're going to put that. And then we're going to put 75 again. 25. Now, now let's try running the text. Delete that and then put this. So look. Look at that. So now let's run the text. Hmm. Hmm. It has already been eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna put point, 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 and then point. So now let's run the test. So now let's run. Do the re do the the decrease speed go. Okay, guys. My next video. Bye.